NRCC Towards Creative Teaching and Learning Project uh, focuses on the role that arts and cultural learning play in transforming young people's lives. Today, uh, during this workshop, teacher participants, uh, they will learn different drama strategies and they will explore how drama can deepen uh, students' engagement, creativity, language learning and problem solving while at the same time uh, increasing, uh, hopefully increasing students' uh, confidence levels. Uh, my name is Patrice Baldwin. Um, I'm a specialist in using drama as a way of learning and it's something I've always been interested in. I've been fortunate to do that all around the world because I was president of the International Drama Theatre Education Association which has given me the opportunity to work with many different groups of teachers and also with actors and theatre groups in many different contexts, so that's wonderful. Um, and I also was chair of National Drama, which was the subject, is the subject association for drama teachers and theatre educators in the UK. So, um, yeah, drama as a way of learning. Uh, we are always trying to teach them in a play or a fun environment. Uh, that's why I'm coming here. I want to learn something and uh, communicate with others to know how to use the drama properly uh, to involve the kids into the language learning. Uh, today, uh, I hope to learn new things about uh, creative teaching. I would like to learn uh, use um, my body language more. Use the, uh, some situation um, acting, and I don't know. Maybe something is gonna be for me as well. Maybe I'm gonna improve my uh, personal um, appearance. So I think I'm gonna find this one very helpful. Imagine and pretend if you are developing normally is something that you, very young children will do. And if you go back to just babies, they will, they're mime artists. <laughs> they are, their brain is organised, our brains are organised to learn through imitating and mimicking as the first way of learning. It's going to become I wonder. Because it's a different thinking and a different way of talking. I notice is observational. I wonder requires a different thinking skill. I'm just intelligent more than you. Books, 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 books. books. That's why I have better notes at school. Why don't you come and play football? I want to play football. This is only for... Yeah, yeah. Well, Stupid you should try boys. it sometime and then you might have some mates. Uh-huh. Now you are angry with me, eh? Are you scared of mum? Okay, go on. <laughs> And each group would create this, as an image to go with the scene, couldn't they? <laughs> and they would be in a chronological, a time sequence. And slowly melt it. A scary black cat to scratch her window. <laughs> the blanket floats away. Don't look out of the window. I am eating you right now. <laughs> <laughs> you can do the conscience alley where you do deliberately let them talk at the same time, just to create an absolute chaos in the head. But I'm using it for language and reasoning. So I want to hear what you're saying because we want to share the thinking. Because in the class, will be some children who want the idea, need the ideas of the others, so we need to hear them. It's, can you see this is about steps? This is not about get on stage and perform. This is about thinking and talking in different ways and making it gradually more challenging or more comfortable depending upon what is needed. How did you find the session today? It was very beneficial and I've learned a lot 
um, of how my teaching is the correct way to go and that children do enjoy us using drama um, on a regular basis to teach them um, because it allows us to access all children and gives everyone a chance. Especially now, uh, after these lockdowns and etc, uh, there is a lot of things to do um, and um, I think we have to manage a bit different way than before, uh, so that's also a challenge.